today we are going to learn about the tenses okay in tenses basically there are three parts of tenses and when we speak the sentences we always denote time as an important factor time time tenses are related to time when we speak about something about present we use present tense when we speak something about past we use past tense okay so time the feature of time why tenses are important because whatever we speak either may it belong to today present time or it belong to past time and remember one characteristic feature of time is time is dynamic okay time never stop present tense is divided into four parts simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense in this tutorial we will learn about simple present tense okay and further to one by one we will keep on learning more tenses okay there are certain action which we do regularly or daily okay so simple present tense where for it is used it is used to express daily activity or routine action i go for shopping with my family every weekend okay so this is a routine action he brushes his teeth daily in the morning daily activity we always wash our hands before meal okay so this is again a regular activity which everyone should follow and nowadays it's very important we should wash our hands and properly so that germs should not go in our body he goes for exercise in the park so these are the all the example which shows that it action is taking place daily or in a routine way second it is used to show a fact or something that is always true you cannot change. universal truth another like word we can say universal truth birds fly in the sky it is a universal truth the heart pumps blood through the body again it is a universal truth so these are the examples shown which shows the something which is true which you cannot change okay so there are certain words which is always true we use in the simple present tense in event 3 it is used to describe any person place thing which are existing okay like you see the example mr raj is our neighbor he is very hard working man he gets up early in the morning so in all this example you can see active a person is which are existing we describe about the person which are existing and his routine life okay now we are coming to first rule of simple present tense see the follow the rules very seriously and if you write down rules it will make you more strong okay verb we always use verb play go drink okay but in simple present tense in verb what you have to check if it is he she it or singular subject with verb we put s or es or ies okay like he place she goes okay it drinks he carries c a w r i e s carry carry is spelling is c a w r y and carries is c a w r i e s he she brushes her teeth regularly so in all these cases we put either s or e s or i e s okay any one of them so remember this rule with he she it or singular subject with verb we put s es or is remaining all we put just verb you play cricket regularly i attend meeting regularly they go to class regularly so in that cases no s es or is only with he she it or singular subject we put s es or ies now next rule is negative sentence negative sentence uh, with it if it is he she it or singular subject we put put does not or doesn't okay does not if i say he plays cricket in a positive sentence if it is negative i use he does not play cricket s e s i e s will not come in negative sentence okay you do not attend class regularly they do not like to play cricket so at that time we use do not we use uh, he with uh, he she it we use doesn't 
does not okay remaining all we use do not another rule is of interrogative sentence the sentences which are based on the question remember i told you earlier also when a sentence is my tutorial of sentences in that i explain you ki when we ask questions questions are divided into two parts either the question answers are get answer we get in the form of yes or no or answers in the form of different way okay yes no answer questions or questions with other answers okay for example i can say you can see the rule in another slide in that what i shown you if it is if we answer the expect in the form of yes or no we always put do or does in starting okay i have given the rules you can write down the rules or see the rules so again the rule apply same with if it is a he she it or singular verb we put does in starting okay does he attend class regularly again attend no not attends if it does come don't put s e s or i s with he she it or singular okay does he attend class regularly does she complete her work daily okay so these are the example of question word which answer in which answers are expected in the form of yes or no in another word interrogative sentence may also begin with words like what where when why in that you can't expect the answer in the form of yes or no you have to write the full sentences you can see the rules question word plus does okay plus he she it singular plus base form of the verb only base form of verb if it is other if it is apart from he she it singular we use do okay why don't you complete your work regularly okay so we can say i don't get time to complete my homework regularly when does he get up in the morning he gets up at 6 o'clock in the morning okay so in this i give you more example what do you want i want a cup of tea so in that case question word comes first then we put do or does if it is a he she it or singular we put does apart from that we put do and then subject subject verb and then we put verb and then continue the sentence this is the rule follow the grammar syntax if you follow proper syntax you will understand grammar very easy way okay after that i given you some exercise based on this exercise 1 you have to fill in the blanks with suitable verbs in the form of simple present tense apply the rules write down the answers answer key is given after completion of all that its activities you can check your answers and see how much you know simple present tense then exercise 2 exercise t2 in that you have to make negative sentence okay you have to form the negative sentence you have to use don't or doesn't like you can see the example i play cricket and in bracket football is given so you can write down i don't play football okay same way you can write down other answers also in exercise 3 you have to rewrite the following sentences in the negative form our uncle explains the lessons nicely so here negative form will be our uncle does doesn't or does not explain the lessons nicely okay write down the remaining answer in your notebook and check your answers afterward in exercise 4 you have to write down the answers of the following question i ask you some questions you have to write down the answers of the following questions we are done see work write down the answer then check your answers in exercise 5 you have to rewrite this sentences using the question word given in the brackets i given the sentences in bracket i given the question word you have to apply your mind and write down frame the question so it will give you more practical implication of this and the simple present tense how to use how to frame the question how to write answers and how to solve all these things so i have given you systematically explain your whole simple present tense go through this after that i will start uh, there is another tutorial in which i explain you present continuous tense so don't forget to watch the tutorial okay and don't forget to subscribe for future update okay you will get notification and directly you can watch the my old tutorials okay All the best good day